Hello and welcome to the Kimanos Park Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we'll recap races from Saturday, November 18 and Sunday, November 19. Saturday's feature was race 9 on the card, the United Race Horse Trainers Association Trophy, a restricted stakes event. Meanwhile, Sunday's feature was the Annie Granham Memorial Cup. Let's begin with race 1 from Saturday. This was an optional claiming event for 3 year olds and up. 1,000 meters the distance with a field of 10 declared to start. Monaco, the mount of Tevin Foster, was the 3 to 5 favorite. They're off. First taunt. Mr. Linders came out just a beat slow, along with Thunderstrike. And oh so long. There are the back markers. A striking the gorgeous now blazes the trail. Slipping past the half mile with that lead. Asse Soup moving fluently. And Asse Soup now grabs it as they go flashing past the 716. Two lengths in front of strikingly gorgeous. Manaco is racing a further two lengths back. There goes Bold Sammy now slipping down into third ahead of Manaco backing out into fourth. Chinese Music is there. Oh so long making ground. Duke of Springs and Mr. Linders race next. And at the back of the field, that's a thunder strike as they've turned for home. They're at the top of the lane. They they leave the corner pole behind them and Asses Soup in the heavy going holds the advantage with three sixteenths remaining. It is Asses Soup, the rider, changing his hold. And this one keeps on as they arrive at the furlong pole. Strikingly gorgeous and Chinese music occupy the rail. Bold Sammy is on the outside, but they dash inside the final sixteenth. And it's Asses Soup and a Javanil Patterson. He's sponsored by True Shake. And True Shake allows Javanil Patterson to have the energy to get Asses Soup home by maybe six. Bold Sammy is next. Shiny music on the real Duke of Springs. They go by together. Manico is fifth. Assessoup from the stables of trainer Byron Davis takes today's first, beating stablemates Bold Sammy and the Duke of Springs, who was in a dead heat for third with Shiny music. Let's jump to race six on the card, which was a restricted allowance event for native bred three year olds and importees three years old and up, maidens only. A full field of 16 declared to face a starter. Cash out leg off the reggae six. Best of luck if you're closing. The rough and racing. Getting a flyer on the near side. That is a Manushi. Also there, that's Bernard the Quick and Zapiro. Leading the group toward the middle. That is a Blinking Light. Also there with Blinking Light. That is a Brit Brian Express. Fly Blue Jet is also in the mix. Over on the far side, Delilah is running there along with the love of God. And and Bella Soul out there too. They're spread right across the track, coming to the uh, two furlong pole. And it is Bernard the Quick that might have the overall lead. Bernard the Quick drifting toward the middle with that lead also there and traveling well. That is a Fly Blue Jet Bernard the Quick from Fly Blue Jet. Delilah is also on the premises coming on Superior and bl Blinking Light. But Bernard the Quick begins to kick away Superior. Flying on the outside, Bernard the Quick hanging on from Superior. Bernard the Quick and Superior going by together. Then comes uh, Del Delilah and uh, Medushi. Wait before. The 8 to 5 favorite Bernard the Quick made light work of the field with the six time champion jockey Omar Walker in the saddle for trainer Philip Prasad. Saturday's eighth event was a non restricted maiden condition race for native bred three year olds. Six time champion jockey Omar Walker was looking for a quick double aboard Home Alone for newly licensed trainer Michael King Jr. Seven and a half for along the trip. This is the late triple. They're off and racing. Missing it badly is a Game to fame and it lit racing at the back of the field. Always right is there. Uncle Sil hustled up for more. Racing in a third, that is Home Alone. They blast towards the six furlong point and Uncle Sil and Always Right. These are the two that fight for it. They pass the six. Home Alone watching them from a third. On the outside, that Storm Boy. Right between horses, that is Home My and right against the rail. Bad investment. Three lengths away before we come to Princess Talisi as they go past the five. Then comes tailing off that Captain Philip overtaken by the slow starting game to fame. They come toward the four furlong point and it is always right. Getting rid of the intentions of Uncle Sil fading back into third. Making eye-catching progress. That is Home Alone going down into second. Right there too and back backing out a bit. That is bad investment. Making progress. Oh my, then comes Princess Talisi. Game to fame comes next, Storm Boy, and racing at the back of the field. Captain Philip, they're going to come into the lane, and it is 
always right in front. Here comes on the outside coming on. That's Home Alone, but always right in front and traveling nicely. Home Alone is hustled up for more and asked for more. Princess Delisi is also running on. Running on too. That's Oh my, and against the rail, that is bad investment, but this always right is really traveling well. Loving the slop today, always right begins to pull away from these. They're all chasing, always right. They're all chasing for second, always right. Splash horrific in the mud today, second, bad investment. Then comes Princess Selisi. Oh my, is fourth, and back in fifth, that's home alone. A clean break and a confident ride from jockey Jerome Ennis, landing a gate to wire finish on the sloppy underfoot conditions, clocking a modest 1 minute 35 and 4 fifths of a second for the 1500 meters trip. Now, race 9, the day's feature, the United Race Horse Trainers Association Trophy, a restricted stakes event with a small field of 8 contesting 1820 meters, nicknamed the Spectator's Treat. They're off. Once again, an almost perfect start. Essential Quality roars to the front as they head toward that clubhouse turn. Essential Quality taking the widest route, but angling down now has that lead at the clubhouse turn. Money Miser races near the rail in the red and black and white. Super Alex joins Money Miser. They rub shoulders a length and a half to two lengths back to uncaptured Empress. Racing back in behind that one, that's a rhythm buzz as they go floating past the seven. A gap of five or six to par from above. Wow, how race is second from the back. And here comes Doc, is last. They've taken to the back stretch proper and come away now toward the final six. An essential quality attempts to go all the way with a four length lead. It's held over Super Alex, Money Miser, three lengths back. Rhythm Buzz racing up with Uncaptured Empress. A gap opening up to power from above. Wow, how racing a length further back. And last of all, it's here comes Doc. They leave the five and head away now to the final half of a mile. Essential quality out in front, but not so far. Super Alex and Money Miser slicing into that lead. Rhythm Buzz racing on the outside in fourth. Just about five lengths separates that bunch. And Captured Empress is a further three lengths back. A gap opening up to power from above. Then Wow How. And here comes Doc going nowhere at the moment. The leaders leave the 3 8 pole behind them. And Essential Quality is being caught by Super Alex. Money Miser stoked upon the rail. Rhythm Buzz in a handy spot if good enough. Uh, these four now in a tight clump as they come turning into the top of the lane. It is Super Alex, just the leader. Money Miser coming alongside and rubbing shoulders. These two battling eye to eye. They're inside the final 316. Super Alex showing a lot of fight on the rail. Money Miser continues to challenge and now Money Miser points over Super Alex. Does Super Alex have anything left to fight back? It is Money Miser out in front. Action pack Ray Lewis and Money Miser beginning to come away in the United Race Horse Trainers Association trophy. They take it by three. Super Alex is second. Power from above is third. Rhythm Buzz fourth. Here comes Doc is fifth. A third win on the Saturday card for a leading rider, Ryan Lewis, aboard the Fitzroy Gillespie conditioned Money Miser. Second went to Super Alex. Power from above was third. And a Rhythm Buzz finished fourth. It's now time for a break on the Commander's Park Highlight Show. When we return, we'll review races from Sunday, November 19. Welcome back to the Kimanas Park Highlights Show. It's time to turn our attention to the highlights from Sunday, November 19. We pick up from race two. This was a restricted allowance event covering a distance of 1,300 meters. A small field of six was reduced to five with a scratch of Maya from the sixth draw. Not to hold them. Now they're off and racing. Very nice break. Bundling together though. As a three-card guy is the first one to show. Passing the six just in front of Avenging Angel. Now joined on the outside by Genealogy. A length and a half away before we come to Jackson. And racing at the back of the field. The blue sees about three lengths. Passing the five and the three-card guy stretches that lead. About two, 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 two and a half lengths in front of the chasing pair of on the rail. That's Genealogy. Out wide, that's Jackson. Just about two lengths before we come to recovering 
from the back of the field that is blue seas and just at the back of the field now avenging angel it is coasting on that lead three card guy lead them past the three in front about three lengths in front of genealogy another four before we come to jackson ask for more but it is in front and maybe in charge at the moment but switching towards the outside and coming on that is a genealogy as a three card guy begins to tie up but three card guy still on that lead a jack's genealogy trying to get the three card guy also coming on avenging angel coming up the rail they're coming to the, at the furlong pole and now hitting the front genealogy genealogy going on jackson uh, make that on the inside avenging angel but genealogy begins to pull away genealogy by two and a half from avenging angel second then comes a three card guy jackson and uh, lucy's a mild upset from jockey siobhan townsend aboard the seven to five wager the genealogy outclassing the second place finisher avenging angel by three clear lengths three card guy was third ahead of the favorite jackson who finished fourth Race 7 from Sunday was the day's feature, the Abbey Granham Memorial Cup, a special maiden weight event for native bred two-year-olds and up, going 1,400 meters or seven furlongs, five in a field with a scratch of ama from the three box. They're off for the Abbey Granham, fair start. Matuso gets a good one on the far side as they make their way now toward the final six furlongs. Matuso has taken that lead. Allegiance, the first time runner in the blue silks, three parts of a length down in second as they leave the six. Right back there in third, that's a blue sensation in the black cap. Matuso has backed out of it and is now running in fourth and at the back of the field. It's a buttercup as they go flashing past the five. They're on the way to the final half mile and the turn for home. And Tioff has that lead now opening up some three lengths. Allegiance continues to chase. Blue Sensation hidden from view. But Tuso has picked up now and forms a line of three. And at the back, Buttercup remains and uh, looks helpless at the moment as the tempo increases on the run toward the three. Tioff trying to slip away from them has opened up some three and a half to four lengths. Being chased now by a Blue Sensation. Matuso is asked to kick in on the outside of horses. Allegiance has faded badly and is now being overtaken by Buttercup as they come into the top of the lane and it is out in front. Tioff continuing to hold the advantage. Here is Matuso kicking in on the outside and Matuso may just have the measure of them all. Matuso with that lead running now toward the final furlong. It is Matuso out in front. Tioff trying to fight back. Buttercup now begins to bloom down against the rail and it is Buttercup who snatches the lead. Buttercup out in front inside the final 16th. Blue Sensation trying to rally on the outside but Buttercup and O'Neill Scott will take the Abbey Grand Memorial Cup close could be blue sensation over Matuso. T off is next and allegiance at the back. Buttercup upset in the apple cart with the longest shot on the board. Closing out at odds of 27 to 1. A first win on the Sunday card for champion trainer and Hall of Fame inductee Richard Azan. The day's ninth was another restricted allowance event covering seven furlongs. A decent field of eight declared to face a starter. Trainer Richard Azan looking for a double with his entry, the bee's knees. Nine. Seven furlongs, they're off. Anonymous comes out at the back with the bee's knees as they're on the back stretch and running toward the six. She's my hedge fund, comes away with that lead, a very narrow one. All for love is right there toward the outside. Miss Linton showing dash, and Miss Linton now grabs the lead. Anonymous slipping down into second, just a half a length separates those two. The bee's knees hidden from view. Just on the inside, All for Love, rather that's uh, She's My Hedge Fund racing down into third. All for Love is back in fourth. Hot Stepper and Money Box race up next. Tiger Amidat toward the back with the bee's knees. They head inside the final half of a mile. They're running that turn and they begin to gun it up front as they arrive at the 7-16th. Three horses now vying for it. She's My Hedge Fund, just a leader. Anonymous and Miss Linton breathing down the neck of the leader as they leave the three. All for Love in the White now making some progress. Money Box is in behind them, possibly seven or eight lengths off that lead. Tiger Amidat racing on the outside of Hot Stepper and the Bee's Knees at the back, but they're into the lane. She's My Hedge Fund right against the fence with the advantage. All for Love kicking in and all for love now takes over she's my hedge fund battling over against the rail anonymous in behind them but all for love begins to skip away from the field they're arriving inside the final furlong and it's all for love and devastating dane dawkins is hunting his second win on the card and all for love and dane dawkins are bounding away from this field and will win with ease
All for Love wins in the end by double digits. She's my hedge fund is second over Anonymous, then Money Box. Hot Stepper goes by with Tiger Amidat. Champion jockey Dane Dawkins aboard the three to five favorite All for Love dismisses a quality field in convincing fashion. With a win margin of 11 and a half long lengths in front of second place finisher, she's my hedge fund. The day's final was a restricted allowance event for three year olds and up with heightened expectations from the trio of Brinks, Ring Charmer, and the favorite Morimoto. Ready to close the show. They're off and racing, left at the back of the field, that is Ring Charmer. As they head toward the six furlong point on the course, and Brinks assumes that lead. It's Brinks in front of Morimoto. As they head toward the passing the six, it's Brinks in front. Morimoto, the good witch, is right there too. Alexa's Lodge comes next. Behind those, that's Big Big Daddy. Rainsville follows. Sunset Silhouette recovering after that bad break as they pass the five. That's Ring Charmer. Then comes Classical Orb and Gambler racing at the back of the field. They've got four furlong, over four furlongs to travel and the good witch ekes out a half a length in front of Brinks tracking intently in second. Morimoto has those two covered right behind those. That is a Rain Rainsville behind Rainsville it, it, Alexa's Lodge right against the rail Big Big Daddy they've passed the three and heading toward the two and Brinks comes through once again on the inside of Morimoto out wide Rainsville tracking intently in third they're at the top of the lane in the nightcap and now Rainsville has come through on the inside and assumed the lead Morimoto is still there fighting on Rainsville in front and traveling nicely too Morimoto still has has to find more. Also coming on that ring charm of the bad starter. It's Rainsville in front and Rainsville is pouring it on in the last. Rainsville coming to the half of furlong pole in total command. Rainsville closes the show in style. Rainsville by about six lengths. Sunset Silhouette runs on to be third. Then comes ring charmer, Morimoto and maybe Gambler in fifth. Rainsville romps. The tenth and final gives jockey Tevin Foster his first win on the card and a double on the day for trainer Richard Azan. That's it for another edition of the Kimana Spark Highlight Show. We'll see you next time. <laughs>